to this guided meditation, we will embark in a journey of healing and letting go of negative attachments. This meditation will help you release tension, fear, and any confusion that may be lingering in your mind and body. We start by settling down getting into a comfortable position, sitting up or lying down on our back. Take a deep breath in through your nose and slowly release. Take a deep breath in, sending the oxygen to your stomach area and a few more times while listening and start adjusting your body to feel supported here. Breathing in and holding and letting it go. Imagine there is a light shining down upon you. This light creates a shield all around you. Nothing can penetrate this shield. The inside is full with the bright light and sparkles. This light warms you and makes you feel protected as if it knows you are in pain, as if it knows you need some healing today. So you continue to breathe deeply and trying to normalize your body to get centered. When we experience a conflict, our body reacts, our hearts race, Breathe fast. It may leave the situation even shaking sometimes. Whether it's someone or a specific situation left us feeling this way. Understand that a good reaction could be to pause or exit the situation but sometimes it happens too fast. And when we realize we have already been hurt and we are left feeling depleted and confused, we wish the situation was different and fear and guilt are very common here. Everybody wishes to have human connection. Everybody wishes to evolve and grow individually. And one of our greatest fears is of loneliness. We desire to belong. Like a human need, air, food, and security. We desire to connect. With this in mind, Sometimes we may allow situations or relationships to become toxic and we may not know how to put a boundary or respect ourselves because we desire so much to keep these connections. One way to measure if there is a negative attachment, is to check in with yourself. After the interaction, how are you feeling? How is your body? Is your heart racing? Are your hands shaking? 
Do you feel confused and afraid? Do you feel depleted? And like you had been optimistic about life and full of energy, but it suddenly has declined and you may feel unworthy or like nothing matters anyways. You start feeling a little hopeless. Your truth is measured on how you feel and only you have this answer. This answer does not belong to anyone else. So being gentle with yourself, take a few more deep breaths here, sending the oxygen to the areas of your body the need the most. Breathing in, hold, and release. Breathe in, hold, and release. You deserve a life of peace. You deserve to be happy. Maybe you have tried boundaries and knowing your limitations, but the pressure may continue for you to act or feel the way someone else wants. And you are left feeling guilty for expressing yourself. Your boundaries are your protection, your safety, so you cannot be harmed. Your boundaries are like your shield. They're based on past experiences where you learn your limitations and set them to be protected. So trust yourself and don't doubt your instincts. Always speaking with kindness and respect, never harming anyone, but above all, respect yourself and don't harm yourself. You may be experiencing an emotional hangover from a conflict, feeling hurt and alone. The purpose of this meditation is to show you that you are not alone. There are millions of people who suffer from these lingering feelings after emotional abuse. You are not alone and your feelings are valid. You deserve peace and you deserve to be happy. You don't need to buy anyone's love or acceptance by trying to please them. You can be yourself. You can respect yourself. You trust your gut feelings and remain inside your shield. Nothing will harm you here. Breathing deeply and slowly. Release the day, side out if needed, and relax. If you still feel uneasy, try to calm yourself down. Deep breathing techniques teach our body how to leave the flight and fight mode. And the more we practice, the better prepared we are when conflicts occur. Take advantage of this moment and take some deep breaths. Connecting with nature is another great way to ground ourselves. So now imagine you are taking a walk in nature Breathing deeply and taking in the smells and the beauty. 
You feel so peaceful and happy by the magnitude that surrounds you. You keep walking, looking at the birds, listening to the water splash from far away, the insects, and you start watching. There is something different about this forest. The butterflies have a special shine and the fireflies are all around. The trees are enormous and the flowers have beautiful special colors that you had never seen before. The connection in this forest gives you so much strength. As you continue walking, a bright light comes down from the sky and starts shining down upon you. This is your shield. You are already familiar with it and you welcome its warmth and protection. As you keep walking, you remember that you are meeting someone you are headed towards a village in the forest to meet someone. Suddenly you feel a little bit uneasy because this person matters so much to you, but an apprehension comes and makes your heart feel heavy. You decide to pause here and take a deep breath. You close your eyes and feel the warmth of the light from your shield. You can stay here in the pause as long as you need. There is no rush. You know you are pausing to regain focus. You breathe deeply, hold and release. You feel calmer and decide you want to continue walking forward. These are your decisions. No one can make them for you. You start feeling strong again and determined to continue on your path. You are learning about yourself and growing here. You learn about your limitations and who you are deep down inside. An innate insight comes to your heart effortlessly and suddenly. And you understand in this moment that you have been given a gift. You realize that inside of you, there is also a light. You feel so grateful for that. You can feel the light inside you. It feels like it was hidden for a while and very low. But here in this forest, this light is like a power source and it wants to come out. It wants to shine all around wherever you go. As you continue walking, you feel more gratitude for knowing yourself better. You feel secure for having a purpose, an identity. Your light makes you understand that you are unique and that you have so much goodness to share. You are almost arriving at the village.
You keep walking and breathing deeply. And as you approach the village, you see the person that has hurt you. They're seated alone and their head is down. They seem to be in pain. They seem to be weak. And you feel compassion for them. Next to them, there is a bag. And you can see through the bag where the person is carrying some negative feelings and words. There are words saying you're not worthy. There are words saying you are empty and confused. You don't belong. There are words saying you're not good enough. And you realize that the person is hurting too. You realize the bag is not them. It's just something they are carrying. They are separate things. You really want to help. But when you look down, you realize you have your own bag that you had been carrying the entire way. You cannot hold both bags and continue on your path. You keep watching the person carrying the bag with the pain and harmful words. And you feel so powerless, unable to help. You know, in your heart, this is part of the process, a process of learning who you are and letting go of the pain from the past. You continue walking forward. Your shield continues to protect and strengthen you. You still have your bag. And you notice several little houses in this village. You have to make a few stops before you meet your someone. And on the first stop, you enter a cozy little house. There are beautiful lights coming from the inside. And as soon as you enter, you are immediately surrounded by words flying around and circling you in beautiful colors. The words seem to be playing a little game circling around you. You giggle a little because they are so playful. It's like they have their own power. It's like they are living beings. The words stop and they ask your permission. They ask if they may enter your being. For a moment, you are taken aback because you're not used to be asked what your feelings, what your decisions are. And you feel grateful that the words respect you to ask for your permission. You gladly accept and they enter your heart. The words become part of you, ingrained in your heart, and you start hearing them tell you a very specific message. You are worthy of love, peace, and happiness. 
Don't be stuck. If someone does not accept you at the moment, there are millions of people who can and need to use what you have to offer. We allow our loved ones to live freely and we don't judge others. We don't try to change or control them. We share ourselves with those who are prepared to receive. Learn and dedicate yourself to good things. Become independent and grow. Do all things with love. And those who can see your light will see you. You may feel invisible to others, but understand we are all at different stages in our path. Today is your day to receive this wisdom. Happiness comes from the inside and through the journey. To each one belongs the responsibility to seek it. By taking this path and giving yourself this time, you are seeking your happiness. You can leave all the guilt here because you do not have the power to make someone else happy. Nothing you do or don't do will transform another being. You cannot fulfill someone else. There is only one who has all the power. And he has taken all our pains onto himself. He knows your heart. That you're hurt. And he asks for you to leave the guilt and pain here. Although you wish things were different and that you could help your loved one, you don't do harm to yourself and we don't stay in toxic situations. You feel so humbled and grateful for knowing that the conflict is now out of your hands. You never had the power and it is pointless to continue carrying it. You take some of the items from your bag, from the conflict, some of the harm forwards, and you start removing them from your bag and putting them on the ground. In front of you, there is a curtain and you hear a voice asking you to leave the guilt and the pain here. So you remove them from your bag And you put them down. And you feel like crying. This burden has been a part of you for so long. You feel lighter and relieved for this decision. You know now you can move on to the next step. You appreciate so much this moment. And you start moving on to the next step. You continue walking through the village, admiring all the colors, the lights, and different paths that you see. You are growing. You become even more focused about your earlier conflict. You decide to make a quick stop at a separate part, a garden, and you say a prayer here. You pray for the person with all your heart. As you now understand the burden you had been carrying does not belong to any one person and you could have put it down a long time ago. You can't put another person's burdens down and you don't judge 
you pray for them and send them your love from a distance. As you pray, you feel your heart beating faster and the light that lives in you expands your heart a little more. Your heart continues to be and the light expands a little more and you see the light touching all over, all around like a circle of love that is around you now. As you pray and wish this person well, you realize that the love is coming out of your heart and touching the person. It's all around them. Maybe they can't see or feel it. But you know that you're sending your honest and sincere love and that you wish them healing and love and peace and happiness. You've learned that you cannot remove their pains and their burdens, but you can send them your love and your light. You end your prayer and you take your items and keep going. You are headed to the bench where you saw the person last, but someone stops you. It is a guardian of one of the little magical houses. He says you cannot see this person physically right now, but you can visit his little house instead. You trust the guardian. You feel protected and safe. So you agree and you enter. As you enter the house, you see a window and it's like a magical screen. You can see the person is out there, sitting outside, with their bag next to them. As you stand in front of the screen, you realize you and that person are connected. Suddenly, you start realizing their cords, they're attached to you. And they come from you to that person and their cords attached to that person coming from them to you. The cords connect so much of you to the hearts, the minds, and the bodies. You have a bond. You don't feel any pain here. You are comfortable in the situation. You are watching everything from the screen and you are protected. Your shield remains around you and your inner light guides your next steps. You realize each cord has a name written on it. Some of the cords say laughter, joy, memories. A lot of the cords have a negative word on them, such as trauma, neglect, manipulation, disrespect, and fear. Now you understand why you felt apprehensive on your way here, but still, you have no fear. You don't feel any pain here. You feel safe. The guardian points you to a basket that sits on top of a shelf. There is a shining light coming from the inside of the basket. So you reach for it and grab it. Inside the basket, you find some scissors that are shining. You know you have to take the scissors and cut some of the cords that attach you to the negative words. So one by one you start. You take the scissors and you cut the cord of guilt and it falls down on the floor. 
You watch the cord collapse on your feet and also on the screen, on the person's feet. In a few seconds after the cord is cut, it disappears like magic and you gain an insight when you set a boundary and someone wants to make you feel guilty, you pray and surrender them to the only one who can actually fulfill them. You remember that no matter what you do or don't do, you don't have the power to fulfill them. You can't feel guilty about this. You know that all you can do is to continue your own path. So you know that now you have to cut another cord. And you look down and you cut the cord of manipulation. It falls and you gain another insight. You become stronger and you know yourself better here. You realize that now you have a deeper knowledge in your conscience. You don't have a problem admitting your faults. But you can also recognize if someone is using a tactic to manipulate you or make you feel guilty and you brush it off, you decide not to participate in that anymore. You feel lighter and you enjoy this like a game. You decide I'm going to fight for myself and my happiness and my peace. And you look down and you cut the cord from disrespect. You gain another knowledge every time you cut a cord. You are no longer willing to be mistreated. You speak kindly, directly and clearly. You let others know what you're not willing to accept. If they cannot accept, if they continue on the manipulation and guilt, you recognize it right away and you separate yourself. You can send love from a distance until there is healing, but you do no harm to yourself. You don't stay in a manipulative, disrespectful situation. This is a demonstration of love. You are showing kindness to both of you by cutting these cords. These cords are not the person they are things, they are separate, and therefore there is no judgment to the person. You send your love to the person on the screen, and you realize they also seem to be a little lighter. From your heart to theirs, you wish them well. And you watch them get up and start walking on their path. You are ready to leave this cozy little house full of gratitude. So you exit and pass by a water stream with beautiful rocks, all sorts of colors, and an inviting bench. You stop here and you sit and you relax. It feels so good to have surrendered to watch the healing. It is becoming easier to remember the conflict now because we enjoy who we are becoming and we really want to protect what we have learned here. We continue walking and taking slow deep breaths, feeling now a joy in our hearts. We realize we still want to be loved and accepted we still want to connect but there is no rush the healing journey becomes so enjoyable we get excited for the future we get up and start walking we're now ready to head back home we can walk to a life of constant expectations that blessings are occurring all around. We can also receive these blessings. We are so grateful for the new awareness and inner peace. 
we walk back with purpose and trust. We have surrendered our guilt and fear. There is no more struggle. We can relax now. We can allow ourselves to be happy. We are gentle with ourselves and our decisions. We're not perfect. We can smile and accept ourselves and enjoy the current journey of healing. We take some deep breaths. And pausing, rest your right hand over your heart and feel your heart for a moment. Feel the gratitude and say thank you. Feel the inner child that lives inside of you and was in so much pain. The precious child needed some guidance and you are grateful that you were able to take this walk and that now you have the strength to soothe your inner child. You have guidance to share. You are calm. You are relaxed. You can sleep now or just listen to the sounds. You are so grateful for this exercise. You can return here anytime you need some comfort. We are never alone. Sleep well. Blessings all around. You deserve to have peace. You are worthy. You are loved. Good night.